India just sent its third mission to the moon. They want to be the first country to land near the south pole of the moon. The Chandrayaan-3 mission, which was made up of an orbiter, a lander, and a rover, left the Sri Harakota Space Center at 1435, or 905 GMT, on Friday with all of its parts. The lander is supposed to land on the moon between August 23rd and August 24th. If everything goes well, India will be only the fourth country in the world to land softly on the moon. It will join the US, China, and what used to be the Soviet Union. Commentators used words like majestic to describe the rocket soaring into the sky to the thousands of people who watched the launch from the viewers' gallery. Cheers and loud applause came from the people watching and the scientists as the rocket started to rise into the air. Arunadeh Mukherjee of the BBC was at the launch, and he said that everyone in the hall was shouting Bharat Mata Ki Jai, which means victory to Mother India. Chandrayaan-3 has started its journey to the moon, said Sridhara Panikar Somanth, the head of the Indian Space Research Organization, after the spacecraft successfully lifted off. The Chandrayaan satellite was successfully put into the right orbit around the Earth by our launch vehicle. The International Space Research Organization tweeted, The health of the spacecraft is normal. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that the Chandrayaan-3 wrote a new chapter in India's space odyssey. It goes to great heights and raises the hopes and dreams of every Indian. Our experts' unwavering dedication was a key part of how they were able to pull off this huge task. He said on Twitter that he liked the team's spirit and creativity. Chandrayaan-3, India's third trip to the moon as part of its planned lunar exploration, is expected to build on the success of India's previous moon projects. It comes 13 years after the nation's first mission to the moon which took place in 2008 and conducted the first and most detailed search for water on the lunar surface and proved that the moon has an atmosphere during the day. According to Milswami Anadorai, the project director of Chandrayaan-1, this new trip to the moon will be the country's second trip there. Chandrayaan-2 was launched in July of 2019, but it was only partly successful. It was made up of an orbiter, a lander, and a rover as well as a lander. Even now, its orbiter is still going around the moon and doing study, but the lander rover it carried didn't make a soft landing and instead crashed when it got there. Mr. Anadurai said that a last-minute glitch in the braking system was to blame for what happened. Mr. Somanath has said that they have carefully looked at the information from the most recent accident and run simulations to figure out how to fix the problems. Chandrayaan-3, which costs $75 million and weighs 3,900 kilograms, has the same goals as its predecessor, which was to make a soft landing on the moon's surface. Chandrayaan-3 cost 6.1 billion rupees and weighs 3,900 kilograms. So how does Chandrayaan-3 from India plan to get to the moon? Let's find out. The lander is called Vikram, after the guy who started ISRO. It weighs about 1,500 kilograms and is meant to carry the 26-kilogram rover Pragyan. Wisdom is called Pragyan in Sanskrit. After Friday's launch, it will take the spaceship about 15 to 20 days to get into the moon's orbit. After that, the scientists will work to slow down the rocket over the next few weeks so that Vikram can land safely and gently. If everything goes as planned, the six-wheeled rover will be thrown out and will explore the rocks and craters of the moon's surface, taking important data and pictures that will be sent back to Earth to be analyzed. The rover has five instruments that will find out about the physical properties of the moon's surface, the atmosphere close to the surface, and the tectonic action to find out what happens below the surface. Mr. Somanath was optimistic and told Mirror Now, I'm hoping we'll find something new. There are still many parts of the South Pole of the Moon that have not been studied. Since the area of the Moon's South Pole that is always in the shade is much bigger than that of the Moon's North Pole, this suggests that there could be water in areas that are always in the shade. In 2008, the Chandrayaan-1 satellite was the first to find signs of water near the South Pole of the Moon. 
We are more interested in this spot from a scientific point of view, because we've already hit the safe landing zone at the equator and we have a lot of data on that," Mr. Somanath said. If we want to find out something important about science, we have to go somewhere new, like the South Pole, even though it's more likely that we won't be able to land there. Mr. Somanath says that data from the crash of Chandrayaan-2 has been collected and analyzed, which helped make sure that the most recent mission went off without a hitch. The Chandrayaan-2 orbiter has been sending us a lot of very clear pictures of the spot where we want to land. That data has been carefully looked at so we know how many rocks and craters are there, and we've made the landing area bigger to give us a better chance. Mr. Anadorai said that the landing would have to be absolutely precise for it to happen at the same time as the start of a lunar day, since one day on the moon is the same as 14 days on Earth. This is because the batteries that power the lander and rover would need to be charged by sunshine in order to work properly. ISRO Chairman Sridhara Panikkar Somanath talked to the Times of India about why the solar-powered lander and robot that are part of the Chandraya-3 mission will land in late August. The landing will happen on August 23rd or 24th, because we want it to happen when the sun rises on the moon, he said. That gives us 14 or 15 days to work. We want the landing to happen when the sun rises over the moon. If we can't land on either of these two times, we'll have to wait until the following month, which will be September. The Chandrayaan-3 lander has its own system for moving forward, controls for guidance and steering, and the ability to find and avoid hazards. When the Chandrayaan-3 rover has safely landed in a safe place, it will be ready to start exploring the surface of Mars. The vehicle that sends the LVM-3 rocket and Chandrayaan-3 into space. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more.